Clemson traveled between the hedges in September of 77 to take on the defending SEC champ Georgia. Vince Dooley had his Bulldogs nationally ranked and well prepared as usual. Clemson had suffered through eight losing seasons out of the last nine. They were trying to get used to new coach Charlie Pell. They had lost a close one to a tough Maryland team the week before from which the realization of their potential had emerged. There was a young talent on this team consisting of players who would become household names to Tiger faithful. The Bostics, Steve Fuller, Dwight Clark, Perry Tuttle, Obed O'Reary, and Lester Brown. The entire first half was scoreless on this rainy day. In the third quarter, Bulldog quarterback Jeff Pyburn was intercepted on the 15-yard line. The Tigers were stopped and forced to punt, but the Bulldogs can't handle the kick and the Tigers recover and go to work. Junior quarterback Steve Fuller connected with Dwight Clark over the middle and down to the six-yard line. Sophomore tailback Lester Brown bangs in for their only score and a 7-0 lead. The Dogs rally for a late touchdown but fail on the two-point conversion and Clemson holds on for a 7-6 victory. Did the Tiger fans following this game recognize that this signaled a new era of Clemson football? <laughs>